thing in there that it's like a color type thing or it's like a race thing. We not. It's not about race. That, that's a stereotype that's been put on us. Yeah, majority of our people are gonna be uh, dark complexion people, but it's, uh, it's also people that who pass from Caucasian that are Israelites. What? You see what I'm saying? So it's not a color thing. You have a lot of uh, Northern Kingdom or uh, Hispanic uh, nations that look like they might pass for white, but they're really not because they are the nation of Israel. Majority of our people are gonna be dark complexion, yes. You got a brother down there teaching from the North Kingdom. Did y'all see the brother that teaching? He, does he look like he, like us? He looks like he can pass for white, right? So it's not about color. I just, we had, I had a question to the sister. I said, uh, I basically told her, we are, do you think that you're in slavery? Yeah. We see, don't, you, don't you know that you're still in slavery? Because well, we pay taxes, right? Give me that in uh, three and eight, Peru, uh, about the subject of payment. Because when you do pay taxes, who you pay them to? Do you pay those taxes to your people? No. And then somebody can say, oh, what about the other nations? They're here in America, but they have another country to go back to. And then when they come over here, they're able to set up a store in your communities. You ever, know, you ever went to a predominantly black, black neighborhood? And one thing, one, one thing that you always gonna see, it's not gonna be your people that run brought the stores. You see what I'm saying? Because that's, that's just slave. Other nations come here and benefit off you because you are the backbone of this world. Our people make this world Coexist. We make this world go round. So I got a question. What's your question? You think that we don't have the same opportunities as them, like to go about it that route? Okay. All the years. I'm gonna give you an example. When you you have a uh, let me give a, a, a Vietnamese they come over here. They fresh off the boat over here. They get grants that you, that you can't get. I got a grant right now. Okay, you got a grant, but you, I, majority of our people can't get grants coming here and opening up the store. They come over here fresh out the boat, and they're getting given grants. Why? Because that's what they have together. That's that's what they all agree upon. Give me uh, Psalm A3. Drop that and give me Psalm A3. One thing that they all agree agree upon that we gonna they gonna all benefit off of us. That's what that's that common thing that they all got together that we gonna. We're gonna keep the children of Israel oppressed and benefit us off them. Read that. Psalm chapter 83, verse 2. And the Bible tells you that. Read. For lo, thy enemies that for lo, thy enemies. He's praying to God. He said, God, your enemies, God, read. Make a tumult. A tumult is an angry gathering. He said, they're making an angry gathering, God, read. And they that hate thee. And they that what? And they that hate thee. And they that hate God. Read. Have lifted up the head. They have lifted up the head. When you lift up the head, you become prideful. You shining on God's people. You, they have become prideful. Read. They have taken crafty caps against thy people. They, the, the Bible said that God's enemies have taken crafty counsel against his people. God has a specific people that's on this earth. And they're being punished by the other nations. God's allowing them to be punished by the other nations because we broke his law. We were disobedient to God. So where does it say in there that it's like a color type thing or it's like a race well, thing? We not, it's not about race. That, that's a stereotype that's been put on us. Yeah, majority of our people are gonna be uh, dark complexion people. But it's, uh, it's also people that will pass for Caucasian that are Israelites. What? You see what I'm saying? So it's not a color thing. You have a lot of uh, Northern Kingdom or uh, Hispanic uh, nations that look like they might pass for white. But they're really not because they are the nation of Israel. Majority of our people are going to be dark gray complexion. Yes. You got a brother down there teaching from the Northern Kingdom. Did y'all see the brother that teaching? He, does he look like he, like us? He look like he can pass for white, right? So it's not about color. Read that. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. So this is, this is how the Lord distinguishes. Read. And they assembled all the congregation together 
on the first day of the second month. Uh huh. And they declared the pedigree. A pedigree is a bloodline. Like a dog, he said, what's the pedigree of that dog? It's a bloodline. So he said, they declared their pedigrees. After their families. After their family. By the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So you are what your father is. Because the father is what? He has the sperm, which is considered seed. So you got an apple, apple uh, seed, and you plant that apple seed in the earth. You have to look at the, the woman at the earth. The seed of the sperm of that man is planted in the earth, which is the mother, the womb. And it brings forth what? So you are, so when you plant an apple seed, it ain't gonna be what the, the female tree is. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be what? It's gonna come up an apple, an apple tree, right? When you plant an apple seed. If you, right. if, if you plant a plum seed, it's gonna come up what? A plum tree. Right. So that's the way it works with us. The Lord's creatures. We all are the Lord's creatures. And, and the God made it that way we all procreate. Just like the animals. They procreate from what? The male animal. That's right. We don't. Come on, back to Psalms. Psalms chapter 83, verse 2. Back going to the God's enemies. Read. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Uh-huh. And they that hate thee. And those that hate God. That have lifted up the head. Become prideful. Come on. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people. And that's what I was bringing out. These nations come together and they when you go in the UN, in the UN, y'all know the UN is headquartered in New York. The UN is where all nations come together. They come from Africa, they come from Europe, they come from uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Middle East. And, and who, who represents you in, in that building when they come together? Who represents us as a people? The slaves, the lost tribes, and the other nations of Israel. Who, who represents us? We are, we are Israelites, according to the Bible. Let's get there. Hold that. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. I'm saying though, like, I, I, I kind of like know like, my people's kind of already like most of the stuff that I'm saying. I need to be pointing the way on how to become Israelites. How to, how to become Israelites? Yeah, exactly. All praise. Y'all, you, you got five sisters? You got five? You got five? All I'm praise. So you already know it. Yeah, I'm already. Okay. Already what about you? Time, I'm Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Exactly, let's get that. Let's get that. Yeah, uh, so, no, uh, Psalm 137. Psalm 137. Yeah. Watch this. Cause, Cause yeah, that's a, a, this is spiritual Babylon. It's, a, it's the same attributes of Babylon, ancient Babylon. Matter of fact, we're gonna, we're gonna go to uh, Isaiah 13, next three. Psalms 137, verse seven. Mm -hmm. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom, in the day of Jerusalem. Who is the children of Edom? The children of Edom is the so-called white. So that's who we're speaking about. The children of Edom. Watch it, read from the top again. Verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. Uh -huh. In the day of Jerusalem. Because they destroyed Jerusalem in 70 AD. They stopped all food and all... We, 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 they, they surrounded the Roman army. Surrounded Jerusalem. That's when we first came out of Jerusalem. We're not from uh, Africa. We fled into the interiors of Africa in 70 AD. Right. Fleeing, fleeing Roman persecution. Right. That's how we ended up in Africa. And we went to the west coast of Africa, and that's when they gathered us together and made and brought us over there as slaves. We break this is history. This is all history that's coming out here. And this the Bible has the history of the earth. I mean what's happening on the earth. It's documented, but because before it became history, it was prophecy. It's a book of prophecy. So before it came history, before it came to pass, it was prophesied by the Lord. And now we got to the point where it has passed and it became history. But other prophecies got to come to pass too that need to be made history. Read that. Who said? Race it. We are race it. Top again. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. The children of Edom is a so-called white man. It's not a hate campaign either. Um, we speak the truth, it's facts. When you read the Bible, they come from Edom or Esau. Read from the top again. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. So we're talking about the so-called white man, the children of Edom. Read. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. So when we were being destroyed, they said, Race it. I mean, destroy it, destroy it, even to the foundation thereof. There was, when we was going to war, they wanted to, they included, to, they included 
I mean, they, they, they was in opposition of us to come against us, against our enemies. They helped our enemies out to go to war with us. They cheered them on. Ready to destroy them. Destroy right. them. Right. Read. Even until the foundation thereof. Uh huh. O daughter of Babylon. Oh, who? O daughter of Babylon. Who are we talking about in this scripture? We're talking about the nation of Edom, so called white man. What do they call them again? O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon. Who ought to be destroyed? Who ought to be destroyed? Meaning it's prophesied that they're going to be destroyed. We can't change that. This is the Lord. Right. Only thing we can do is get in our place, our rightful place, and not be destroyed. That's but we can't change the prophecies. Give me uh, Isaiah 46 and 10. We can't change none of this. It's going to happen. Only thing we can do is get step into your lot, your rightful place, or, or be destroyed along with the people who God said ought to be destroyed. Right. Isaiah 46 and 10. Read. Isaiah chapter 46. Verse 10, uh -huh. declaring the end from the beginning. God declared the end from the beginning. When God created this earth, <laughs> he said he already knew what's going to happen. Right. You, you see the power that we serve? Read it from the time again. Declaring the end from the beginning. Everything that's going on now, God knew this was going to happen. Right. Read. And from ancient times, the things that are yet done. He said from ancient times, he knew the things, he, he, he already declared the things that had not been done. Read. The things that are not yet done, uh -huh. say, uh -huh. my counsel shall stand. God said his counsel shall stand, meaning the Lord, the most high God, Christ, the holy angels. They had counsel on how they was going to establish things before the earth was, was created. You see what I'm saying? It, 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 he didn't just snap his finger, it was discussion going on. And then that's how, we, and then he created it, and that's how we came into it. He said, that's what he mean by my counsel shall stand. Meaning, that's a government going on in earth. Right. And he said, this is what we're going to do. He, came, he gave the word, this is what we're going to do. We're going to create this, and we're going to create the people, and that's how it's going to be. Read from that part again. My counsel shall stand. My counsel shall stand. Uh -huh. And I will do all my pleasure. He said, and I'm going to do all my pleasure. Everything that I said I wanted done is going to happen. Why? Because the holy angels are going to see that it happens. Right. You see what I'm saying? Give me 13. Isaiah 13 and 1. So he 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 has a uh, power, powers like that holy angel that goes forth and make sure it happens the way the Lord wants it to happen. And no one can go against the power of the Lord. No one can resist his will. It's a scripture say, no one can, give me that first. I probably heard 20 and 24, I think it is. No one can resist the will of the Lord. He makes people do what they want to do, what he wants them to do. And there's nothing you can do about it. We think we got our own mind. Yeah, we have free will to do certain things, but the, but the Lord, he's the, he's the author of everything in this earth. Read that. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? He said man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? Meaning the Lord is controlling this everything going on. You see what I'm saying? Read. It is a snap to the man. On that. It says man's going of the Lord. Give me that in Daniel 4 and 17. Then we're going to go back to Isaiah 13. Yeah, read that. Daniel chapter 4 verse 17. Uh -huh. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. He said, this matter by the decree of the watchers. Read. And the demand by the word of the holy ones uh -huh. to the intent that the living may know that the most high. The most high God, because you, you have a, 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 a hierarchy, meaning the most high God, Christ is God, angels are God, and the children of Israel are God. Read. Rule in the kingdom of men. Read that part again, the last part. And the most high ruler in the kingdom of men. So God rules in the kingdom of men. I mean, God is, God is the author. God has wrote a movie script here, which is the Bible. And everything that happened, it, 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 it's going to happen. Give me that Deuteronomy 28, 68. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you an example. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Watch this. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 68. 
Jump 15 first. First 15? Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. It's going to come to pass. What's your name? Marcus. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. B. And thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, if we didn't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel, as God freed them in captivity under the Egyptians. And so that's why I was saying, well, uh, the Egyptians, they were African. Hey, we the same people? No, we're not African. We're the Jews that the Bible speaks of. Our right. identity has been taken from us because we went into slavery. And then we have another nation of people that put themselves up as us because who wouldn't want to be the children of God? You see what I'm saying? But the children of God are going through persecution. They're going through, they're going through tribulation. Why? Because they broke his, they were disobedient to him. And he has not came back to save them. They redeemed them here. So the children of Israel, until Christ returns, are always going to be in captivity. Slavery. Because he has not came to save them. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. So who was uh, we supposed to Moses said, if we didn't keep all God's commandments, but what? And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, we didn't follow his law, statutes, and commandments, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. We're going to come upon us and overtake thee. Well, you, you got to realize the people at this time, they were on high. The Lord just destroyed the Egyptians for their sake. Right. So it went in one ear and out the other. But Moses told them that it was going to happen. But they didn't understand because we was, they was right here. The Lord just destroyed the Egyptian, which was, which was a superpower at that time. Right. It's like American superpower today. Jump to 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So one of the curses was that their sons of the Israelites will be given unto another people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. It says your eyes will look and fail with longing for your children all the day long. Why? And there shall be no might in thine head. So you wouldn't have no power to get your, your children back. You ever seen the, the, the movie uh, 12 Years a Slave? This, remember this, the sister in the movie, remember she, her kids were sold off and she kept crying. No, 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 this is not Ruth, not Ruth. Uh, I forgot her, uh, her name was Eliza. Eliza was, was her name. So it was, it, was a, it, was a, it was a scene in the movie where he just couldn't take it no more because she had been crying for months. But, th but this is that scripture, this scripture, that's that coming to life. Well, we just can't her talk. Verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All the what? All the day long. So months had passed and she was still crying every day. She was sorrowing. That's that scripture coming to pass. Right. That stuff actually happened. We don't. And there shall be no might in thine head. There won't be no power to get your children back. Jump, jump verse 68. So as Moses telling them that, this stuff didn't happen. Watch this. Read this. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You know what Egypt means? He said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Because God, huh, say it again, it, it's a slavery, right? Because God saved them out of Egypt. Only thing Egypt is a Greek word that means bondage or restraint. Right. Or captivity. So, read it from the top again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. But he said, okay, so they walked into Egypt the first time. But he said he's gonna bring them into Egypt again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With ships. With ships. Yeah, show, show them what else. Slave ships. So those, no, those, they exist, right? They exist. They exist at one point in time, right? By the way. Yeah. Hey, hey, and by the way. Those weren't ships made for people. It was cargo ships. Right. They called them cargo slave ships, but they were made for cargo. Right. They used, they, they stuffed people in there. They weren't for people, they were for cargo. And that's why they call them cargo slave ships. You see what I'm saying? So read it from the top again. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. When did that happen? 
1619 when the first tribe happened, 1492 for the Native Americans and the Hispanic tribes. Right. So that was a thousand years before he was speaking to them children. See what I'm saying? So like I said, the Lord just saved them out of Egypt at this time. So he's telling them, hey, we got, we got to keep God's laws. He's giving them the curse. Why? Because like we read, God said, declaring the end from the beginning. So he's telling them in a way that because he knew they, they, they were going to break the laws. You see what I'm saying? Read it again, verse 20, 28, 15. Put it on Chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. He said, it's going to come to pass, meaning it's going to happen in the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And overtake thee. Now jump to verse 68. So he was telling them in a way saying, it's going to happen in the future. Read that again. Read that part. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with me. Remember? Realize he's telling them in a way, he said, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Meaning it's going to happen because he already knew. He declared the end from the beginning. All right. You see what I'm saying? Read. With ships. He said, you, it, 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 he's going to come on ships. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. And have we seen our homeland again? Have we, I don't, where are you from? You're from here, right? What's your father? What's your father on this side? Judah, right? You come from Judah. African American, so called African American. So, where's your father from? Give me Isaiah 1 2. Where's your father? Where's your father from? He was from here also, but where was he from? His ancestors that came over as slaves, where were they from? What are you. What's your origin as a people? Uh, you know, where's your origin of your people? The origin of your people is, is your Nigeria, you said? Your people come from Nigeria? You, 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 that's a fact? Oh, the DNA? We'll go out there. Yeah, we will go out there. Because the scripture speaks about the science. Okay, read that. I said, chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his own. God said, a ox, which is a dumb animal, knows his owner. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And a jackass, a stubborn, another a stubborn animal, he knows where his home is. Read. But Israel doth not know. But the Israelites don't know. Read. My people doth not consider. And he said they don't consider. They don't even consider to know. Because we, we could be teaching out here all, all day long. And only, only a, maybe a couple people might come and really want to hear what we're bringing out. Right. They don't even consider. Right. Because why? They've been brainwashed in America. Right. Yeah, they not the children of God. You see what I'm saying? Go back to the uh, good one. Now, now go to Isaiah 13 and 1. So I, I, I made a point, Isaiah 13 and 1. So I made a point. I said, the Lord is moving. He's the author of, of, of this book. This thing is going on, on how he wants to go. Watch this. I'll give you an example. Read. Isaiah. Chapter 13, verse 1. Uh -huh. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Remember, I brought, I, I brought that because you asked a question about Babylon. So now we, 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 we established who Babylon was, right? The children of Edom in America. And also in Europe. Read from the top again. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. God gave Isaiah a vision of the last days, things on how it was gonna play out. So that's why he said that Isaiah did see, read. Lift up a banner upon the high mountain. So the high mountain would go into the government. High mountain is the government. High government, the highest government in this world is America. And the banner is the Bible. Bring it up. This is the banner of the children of Israel, read. Exalt the voice of- Like we're doing today, we're exalting our voice so all our people can hear, read. Exalt the voice unto them. Uh -huh. Shake the head. And we're supposed to shake the head. We're supposed to correct our people. No, this is a sin, according to the Lord. Because we don't know who we are. So we got to come out here and learn. We have to learn and then come out here and teach our people. Because if we don't, they're going to continue to be in sin. 
and then God's wrath going to come and they would have never known that they're the children of Israel. Read. That they may go into the gates of the north. Come on. I have commanded my sanctified one. To be sanctified means to be cleansed. So that's what you see brothers coming in and learning in Israel that we must keep God's law. That's being sanctified, being cleansed from our wicked ways. We ain't living the simple life no more. We ain't going from woman to woman. We get married and raising our children. We ain't going uh, to the club. We ain't fornicating. We ain't doing the things that we once did. Read. I have also called my mighty one. So when he called his sanctified one, us that clean, clean, cleanse our ways, and then when we come out here and teach the Bible, he have, he going to command his, his mighty ones. Who are the mighty ones? The angels. So it goes hand to hand. As we go out here and he bring the prophecies out, they make sure those prophecies come to pass. Read. For my anger. And then all this is happening for God's anger, he said. Read. Even them that rejoice in my height. Even them that rejoice in his height is the, the mighty angels. Read. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like a, like as of a great people. So he's speaking about what Isaiah, Isaiah's speaking about. He wrote down what the Lord showed him. He said, read that part again. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people. A great people, a lot of people, read. A tumultuous noise. It's a noise going on. Where's this noise coming from talking about? The Middle East. Ukraine, Russia, Israel, Iran. All these nations are having conflict because the Lord is doing it. Read. Of the kingdoms of nations. The what? Of the kingdoms of nations. Of the kingdom of nations. It's going to be more nations that's going to be coming down for war. All of them gather in this one region. Read. Gather together. The Lord of hosts. Muster the host of the battle. It said, the Lord of hosts, the most high God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, he's instigating the battle, is what the scripture said. Muster means he's instigating, he's playing on the minds of the nation to go to war. Read. They have, they come from a far country. They talk about these nuclear missiles, these weapons that the nations are using. They come from a far country. Read. From the end of heaven, uh -huh. even the Lord and the weapons of, of the what? Even the Lord and the weapons. And the weapons God put on the mind of man to make nuclear missiles that can destroy this whole thing. He said, with they what? And the weapons of his indignation. So God had the man created is the weapons of his indignation. Righteous anger. Because the Lord is mad what they do to his people. Right. They got people in the midst of sin. They ain't telling them who they are. You see what I'm saying? They, don't, they, they ain't educating our people that they are the children of Israel, that they must keep God's law. And that's all we gotta do. We don't have to fight. We have to pick up no guns. Right. No, the Lord's fight for us. That's right. Well, all, all that we gotta do is keep his laws. Right. And he's gonna do everything for us. Read. To destroy the whole land. To destroy the what? To destroy the whole land. To destroy the whole land. Spell land. Deep. It's singular. This is the land. This is the land that's going to be destroyed. Read. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It said, How ye. Man, the people, I, I want the Lord to come back. No, they said, How ye. Because the, the, the day of the Lord is at hand. It's, it's not going to be beautiful in the Lord. Even for us. Even for us that's cleansing our ways. We, we, we're going to be uh, uh, afraid when the Lord comes. Right. Because when you see the power of the Lord come, when he sends his son and the holy angel, it's not going to be pretty. Right. It's, it's going to be something that you never imagine what happened. You see what I'm saying? They're going to destroy this thing. Read. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. You know, you know how much power that the Lord has? The Lord created the stars, the moon, the sun. The angels can go stand in the sun. Did you know that? Watch this. 1917. 1917. Read. Revelation chapter 19, verse 17. Uh -huh. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. This is John the Revelator seeing his vision. Read the part again. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. Uh -huh. And he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls 
that fought in the midst of heaven. This, this is when that war takes place. He's going to tell, he's going to command all the fowls of the earth to do what? Come and gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God. Of the great God. I mean, there's going to be a lot of slain. There's going to be a lot of death. Because what? World War III is going to be taking place. And he's going to have all the, 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 the fowls of the air come in, come in feast for the supper of the Lord. That's the Lord. He don't sound so all so good to me. Give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, 32 and 39. Do you sound like do you sound like you're a loving God? He can be. He can be a loving God. But that, that sound, do that sound like love? He's a jealous God also. And he's the Lord of and he's the God of destruction. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. What? Read that. See now that I, even I, am he. He said, I am he. This is God speaking. Read. This is Moses, uh, uh, the Lord speaking through Moses. Read. And there is no God with me. There ain't no other God. All the other gods, Buddha, Krishna, Allah, that's, those are idols. Right. He said, no other God but me. Read. I kill. Oh, God said, I kill. So, like, some people in their mind think Satan kills. God said, I kill, because he gave the order to Satan right. to kill. Read it from the top again. I kill. I kill, and I make a lot. So, if the Lord, if somebody gets shot and the Lord want to bring him back, he got something to do with that. Read. I woo, uh -huh. and I heal. Uh -huh. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my head. It's no, it, it's nothing, when the, the Lord said it's over for you, ain't nothing you can do about it. He says, there's no, no man that can deliver out of the Lord's hand when he's ready for you to come, when he's ready to take that spirit from that flesh, ain't nothing nobody can do about it. Right. But just, just give it up, give up the ghost. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 